is my motor home, an 05 uh, Pace Arrow made by Fleetwood. Now this is what it looks like underneath uh, the steps. And uh, here's the arm that connects to the, uh, to the steps. And it's held in place uh, by a bolt and a pin. And so you can disconnect this if you needed to pull the steps in manually and hold them. So this is where you would disconnect the steps with a little carter pin here and uh, pull the pin out and then the steps will be allowed to move in position. There's your little light, here's your controller, and there's your motor and your leads. And you can put positive on the red and ground on the yellow and it should operate that switch but i would do that as a last resort i would check all this other stuff and here's the little connector uh, fuse checking it would be the first thing you do all right so this is the way it goes not a whole lot to it this is the brains of the outfit now be cautious when you're under here and operating and because these steps are going to come in you don't want your hands in between all these medical or metal parts and scissor action so you want to be extremely careful when you're working here uh, with power on because the steps could operate and uh, it wouldn't be good so uh, think think out before you get under here and make sure you're out of the way of anything there's not a whole lot you should do under here with power if you do want to check a lead or something now these connectors you could have a connector problem so that would be something to check now here is the uh, door switch right here and there's the two leads right there one of those leads is connected to ground the other lead uh, goes to the controller uh, this is where if you want to test this if your do door steps aren't opening or closing then you'd want to take a ground a metal place somewhere that you can connect a, um, a lead and you ground each one of these and when you ground, if you don't get any operation at all, then you have a problem other than the switch. But if the steps operate with the ground into one of the leads, then the switch is bad and will need to be replaced. Um, here's the magnet that goes to it. If it's missing for whatever reason, then uh, uh, you could take a a regular magnet just to test but uh, it's got to have the magnet and the magnet and the um, switch come together it will operate and it should be lined up like that and that's enough to operate that switch and underneath the hood uh, is my battery disconnect area uh, control center and it's got two clips. I've already removed one. There's two fuses. One is a 20 amp step motor. That most likely is the yellow lead that uh, provides power for the motor because it's got a lot more current. This uh, fuse right here is for the steps. And this is for the controller lead. So it doesn't take much. It's a 3 amp. Now I'm going to show you how to test those. You can use a meter. You notice there's a little uh, metal point here and a little metal point there. You take a test lead uh, from a meter and you go to ground. You find a good ground somewhere uh, that's not painted. This, uh, this probably is a good ground right here. Clip it on there and you use the other point to test each of these. You should have 12 volts on both of those. And uh, you should have 12 volts here. 
Now this one you most likely are going to have to have the uh, switch on uh, to see that uh, power. So we're going to try that. So I'll let you uh, check that out yourself uh, uh, with a meter. And uh, if uh, you only get uh, power on one side, then that fuse is bad. Uh, but make sure the ignition switch is on uh, when you test it. Okay, so that was be one source of trouble right there. Now, uh, you're looking at uh, the step wiring for a quickie step, uh, which is the popular electric steps mounted on the Class A RV. Uh, the uh, fifth wheels and travel trailers usually do not have electric steps, so uh, this is going to pertain to the RV mostly. And uh, I'm going to give you some tips of what to check uh, if you start having problems uh, with your electric steps. Uh, let's start by looking at uh, underneath your step. This is a uh, underside view uh, turned up top to give you a look at how it will be mounted. There'll be a, um, a little light underneath there to, that you can turn on with a switch to uh, get that light on. Um, now, uh, this is the controller right here, which is going to send the control signals to the motor as to when to operate. And uh, there's two functions for the motor to open the steps and close the steps. And that is all controlled by this uh, little switch right here, which is a normally open uh, magnetic door switch. So the way it works is uh, this is a set of contacts right here that are normally closed. Uh, and uh, that would be with the door, the screen door open. Now, on the screen door, at the location of this switch, which is mounted on the, uh, the door frame uh, of the RV, there is a magnet that is mounted at the same height location on the screen that will line up with this switch. And the job of the magnet is to operate this uh, switch to open it and then allow it to close when the uh, magnet is taken away or the screen door is open. Now, the way this works is with the screen door closed, you are, uh, you have the steps retracted because, uh, and the ignition key would have to be on that you're getting ready uh, to uh, depart. So this main, this is why the step is in with this open. Now, if you open the screen door, what's going to happen is that uh, this uh, contact is going to come back into contact with the other contact, and it's going to send a ground to the control panel through the switch, and the control panel now knows that it must uh, uh, open the, um, the steps. And so the motor will start turning, and uh, this uh, arm will actually push the steps out. So that's how it works, uh, basically. Now, uh, there's another item here that sometimes you don't want the steps to go out or you don't want them to come in. You have a switch, a power switch here, which will uh, stop that uh, from happening. So when you operate this, uh, and it'll be near the door frame, uh, it will lock the steps in the position that you want them to be. And there's a lot of reasons. Uh, sometimes there's a deck in the way, so you operate this switch before you uh, uh, turn the key off. Uh, and then when you close uh, the door, 
the steps or open the door the steps will not come out now if you're having a problem of normal operation and the steps don't perform at all there's a few places that you can look to to discover what the problem is it's not a, a hard circuit to troubleshoot you just know have to know where to look now first thing is you could check to see if this switch is operating properly but uh, I think that wouldn't be the first I would say the fuses a lot of times a fuse will blow uh, and uh, that will be your thing now to find the fuses you need to go to your chassis owner's manual and there will be the uh, fuses and their uh, fuse names uh, in a section of the owner's manual so you'll want to check for that uh, to find it and that will help you also the battery disconnect uh, could be operated and that's when you're storing your vehicle it disconnects the battery and so that would be a good source of uh, trouble right there so so far you see you have the battery disconnect a fuse a switch and the uh, door switch uh, and the magnet could be uh, have fallen off uh, so those are the few areas that could be your first things to check now the door switch you could check to see if it's operating properly uh, just by taking a ground notice this is grounded uh, find a, a ground and a, use a test clip with alligator clips on it take the ground and uh, with a tool a sharp pointed tool a dental pick is really great you connect the uh, alligator test lead to the dental tool and then you can pierce the brown wire which you'll be able to see it uh, coming out of the switch at the door frame going into a little hole uh, if the uh, with the key on the ignition key on uh, the step should uh, retract and go in when you touch a ground to that and then if you take the ground off the step should come back in so that's how you can uh, check that right away to see if that switch is uh, failing if you get it to operate properly with the ground test lead then the switch is bad you'll just need to get a new switch uh, the other thing is uh, you might want to uh, test this switch and uh, you could test it by shorting these two leads uh, will tell you whether the switch is operating or not 